Hugs for everybody on the race team. Alex, the car was quick. Wife Esther. And the little one. But it was a pit stop that really got you the lead. Alex, how much is this a team win for Chip Ganassi Racing in the 10 Bunch? Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, did a mistake on that uh, start. Lost, lost our first uh, position there that we fight so hard in qualifying. But uh, yeah, everybody, all the crew, engineers, uh, and the mechanics did an amazing job on the pits. Uh, gave me that lead, and we just had to uh, try and get the performance we had all weekend with the number 10 DHL on the car. So it was, it was an amazing win. Um, it's great to be back to back from last year and we're going to continue uh, this May. You have won this race before, so you know better than anyone. What does the momentum really mean to parlay that into the Indy 500? Oh, I mean, it helps. It always helps. A win helps a lot, especially uh, if it's a pole and a win and the way we want it. So, um, yeah, we're going to celebrate for sure. But, uh, yeah, we'll switch the, this afternoon, the focus to the big one. Yeah, so how quickly does the attention turn to the biggest race in the world? Um, yeah, this afternoon, as soon as we get the champagne. Oh, yeah, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, especially my wife, my mom, and all the mothers. So, yeah. Hey, it's only three days until practice starts, but is it okay to have a little fried chicken for you and the team tonight? Uh, I don't think so. No, we need <laughs> no. to get the way down. We need to get the way down, but uh, we're going to celebrate somehow for sure. No fried chicken tonight for Alex Pillow and the team. As you mentioned, if always their celebration, but they will not have it tonight. Practice coming up too quick. What a win for Alex Pillow and Chip Ganassi Racing, kicking off the month of May the right way. Power remains second in the championship, and since his last win in a championship season, this is the seventh time you finished second. So how do you think about that? Are you getting tired of it, or no, this was what ava was available to us today? Uh, it's what it was available to us. Um, Yes, you do get sick of finishing second. Oh, my God. I mean, you're just racing very tough people, and um, if you're not exactly perfect, you won't win. So I wasn't exactly perfect in qualifying, and I didn't win. So Dave Faustino was telling Marty during the race that, yeah, we maybe brought you in a little bit too early on that sticker set of reds before the last stop. Would that have changed anything? It's hard to say. I think, like, if we'd gone longer in that second stint, it would have kept Palou behind us. He wouldn't have been able to use his speed. And then maybe we jump Lungard in a pit stop. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, you know, we thought that was the best option at the time. Uh, there's not really... And I thought that, too. I thought we, the undercut would be good, but it's a slightly colder day, so the overcut wasn't bad. Um, but all you can do is your best. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm driving really well, and... You know, my crew is the best on, they are, they are the best on pit lane, simply. They're the quickest guys on pit lane. So every time the Verizon car stops, we have a good shot at jumping someone. And that's actually what happened to get second. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the 500, man. Chevy's done a very good job and the whole team has done a really good job on everything. So I think we have a good shot at, you know, fighting for a pole. And, you know, it's been a long time since we've been able to fight for a pole and, and uh, fight for a win pretty good seat. I am a yard away seated from the yard of bricks at the greatest racetrack in the world with Colton Herta, uh, who made the most of it today from 24th up to 7th. Is that good enough, all things considered, from where you started? I mean, there, there's definitely room for improvement on there. Um, but really, really solid pit stops, really, really solid strategy. Team definitely made my job a lot easier today, um, you know, picking up positions. It, a lot of it was through fuel cycle, having really good pit stops and then undercutting a lot of guys. Um, and that's kind of how we made the majority of our uh, positions up. But, you know, I think there was a scenario there where we get a podium. And you had some drama early on. What kind of setback was that with the contact you had with Marcus Erickson? We heard some, uh, as, as I like to say, spicy radio. We've had a few minutes now. What do you think about what you had? <laughs> Your teammates leading the championship and you race him like an ass like that, like, I don't know what you're thinking. Like, he's he probably broke deeper than in qualifying right there, and he runs me clean off the track. Like, you gotta be smarter than that, man. It's so, so dumb. Safe to say, the opinion hasn't changed. Do you need to talk about that a little bit? I've, I'll let him know what I feel, yeah. All right, very good. Thank you, Lee. Look, I've been. This is how you want to start the month of May if you're Chip Ganassi. And, and is it more special, Chip? You and I were just talking about this. Alex admitted, start of the race, I made a mistake, but the team got him the lead back. Is it more special when it's a team win like that? Well, you know, they're all team wins to say that, you know, I mean, there's a lot going on in the, in yeah. the pit strategy wise, tire wise. Yeah, sure. And, uh, you know, obviously, 
three guys in the top five. It's, it's really, really a, a big, big way to enter the month of May. We're pretty excited. Yeah, you've lived this before. Is momentum real in motorsports? Like when you win a race like this, going into qualifying next weekend, and of course the 500 in two weeks. No question, momentum is real in any sport. Momentum is is your friend. And I want to ask you about those top five finishers. How about Marcus Armstrong coming home fifth, Dixon with a solid day as well. How proud are you of the organization as a whole? Yeah, unquestionably, it's about the team. You know, I got some great drivers. I got great guys, great guys on the engineering stand, great guys in management. I'm a lucky guy. So Alex said no fried chicken. Do you let the guys celebrate or do you remind them, hey, practice is in three days. Don't don't party too much. Yeah, don't party too much. No, we, you know, we know we, we, we know we have a big month and they do too. There you go. So that's the thing about the Indy GP, Lee, is that qualifying and practice starts pretty quick after this. So not a lot of celebration tonight, but they'll enjoy it, no doubt. Let's talk with another member of the podium. So Christian Lungard has now finished in his young career, first, second, and today, third. I know you really wanted to knock out that win here for the team. Uh, what else did you need, and what do you take away from it? I think we, we, need, we need a lot of luck today. We... Uh... I think we did everything we could on the first two stint to, uh, stints to make sure that the, the 45 5 Yon had a shot. Um, I think Palo really deserved it today. He was he was up there. He was he was right behind me on the first stint, and I think we we considered uh, we should consider ourselves a little lucky on the first on on the first pitch stop going into the second one because I don't really know how we managed to keep him behind. He was extremely fast and he did the overcut on the third stint and, and got got us there and. And then it was a it was a race in, in pit lane for for the last stop where I think when we struggle whenever it's a big head to head whenever we need to really make up time in pit lane I think we, we struggle with that but at the same time I don't really want to overstep it so I think it's uh, it's it's a good job by the team today we we need to be proud of what we've achieved and it's the first first podium in, in May. So it's good to start this way. All right, solid day for the high V Honda and Christian Lungard, Marty. A career best for Marcus Armstrong winds up fifth. And I got to admit, you called it this morning when we talked. You said we have maybe the best car we've had all year long. You had more overtake than your teammate Scott Dixon there at the end. Were you thinking, I got a shot to get him and finish fourth? I didn't know that I had more OT than him. Uh, but look, it was a good day in the office and we had good pace. At the end, Scott looked like he was struggling a bit with his rears. Yeah. Although, to be honest with you, it's probably not the wisest thing in the world to do a, a big lunge on Scott and <laughs> yeah. uh, potentially ruin our day. So um, if the opportunity was going to present itself in a safe way, then I would go for it. But we sort of ran out of time there. Yeah, what a day for Marcus Armstrong. Starts 11th, finishes 5th, Diff. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.